Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is the vice president. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia descends from the loins of a northern political elite. Dr. Baumia's father is the late Al Haji Mumuni Baumia, who served as a minister in the Nkrumah government. He comes from Waliwali in the northeast region. So he's a banker, he's an economist, he's a lecturer, and he's an international civil servant, having worked with the IMF and other international bodies in the economic sector. Uh, so from nowhere in 2008, President Akufuado plucked him from the central bank and decided to make him his running mate for that election. So Dr. Baumia is part of the Akufuado administration. Many say he has excelled in the prosecution of his digitalization drive, so Ghana card. People talk about paperless port. People talk about what he's done when it comes to the digitalization agenda, passport, and all of that. So that's, that's something good going for him. Since inception, the New Patriotic Party has never had a candidate of northern extraction. So they've had vice presidential candidates or running mates from the northern part of the country, but they've never had number one or the candidate, the flag bearer in the northern part of this country. And for them, this is the first time or this is the opportunity for the MPP to show that they are truly national party and that they can elect a candidate other than someone from the Akan um, group in, in the country. Dr. Baumia essentially led the economic charge for the new patriotic party in the run-up to the 2016 election, essentially before President Akufuado came into office. He's been head of the economic management team. The country is under an IMF program. For many, this is a serious dent on his leadership as the head of the economic management team. The last thing is also about his faith right, is a Muslim. Ghana has never had a Muslim president. When you look at the demographics, Muslims are in the minority. Will there, would you have a huge Christian majority vote for a minority candidate? All of these are some of the weaknesses that work against Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. He is not from the base of the party, Ashanti and Eastin. Uh, does this potent some bad omen for the party going into the 2024 election if he's elected as the candidate? These are the dynamics, positive and negatives. Will Dr. Bamiya be part of the five Certainly, I think, yes, going into tomorrow. Will he win the flag bearer election? That's a multi-million dollar question.